I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. Today is going to be a little different. Today we're going to concentrate on eating healthier. What do I mean by that? Well, vegetables have a lot of nutrients. And usually when you're cooking a meal for Christmas or Thanksgiving, you boil the nutrients right out of the vegetables. I'm going to show you a way to cook your vegetables healthy, have it all timed out, and less dishes to wash at the end. And if you like that, I've got all the details coming up. So when you're cooking vegetables, the traditional way, and I mean the traditional way that my mother used to, my grandmother used to, you'd peel your potatoes and you put them in some water, put them on the stove, and then boil them until they're done. You lose a lot of nutrients that way. Same with squash, same with uh, asparagus. Have you ever noticed when you cook asparagus and you put it in the pot, it turns brilliant green, add a little bit of salt to the water, and then they start to fade and look they don't look so good, they look a little bit gray. Well, I have a neat way to do vegetables. Sous vide, that's right, sous vide, which means in a vacuum, cooking. We're gonna sous vide our vegetables, and instead of having three pans and pots, I've got three vacuum seal bags. I'm gonna use my vacuum sealer, and I'm gonna prepare some squash, potatoes, and asparagus. And it's all gonna take about an hour and a half. 30 minutes for the water to heat up to temperature, about 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'll add my potatoes, which will be pre-seasoned, ready to go. Uh, after 30 minutes, I'll add my squash, also pre-seasoned, ready to go. And then 15 minutes last, we'll add the asparagus. So let's get things rocking and rolling, shall we? First of all, I've got my bags. When you prepare sous vide, it's very important to have stuff flat and uh, also vacuum sealed so that the uh, vegetables don't float in the water. And I'll show you about that in just a moment. Anyhow, let's get some veggies prepared. What I've done, I've taken my asparagus, I've trimmed off about an inch and a half on the bottom, and then I took my asparagus peeler and peeled off the rough outer skin and stuck them in water. You wanna do that for about an hour so that they rehydrate, basically, and that makes things a lot easier. Asparagus is gonna be the last thing that we're gonna put into the sous vide, uh, sous -vide pot, so um, we'll get that done. By the way, if you're thinking about sous vide and you haven't purchased a sous vide item or anything, I have a couple of links in the bottom. I'm an affiliate with Innova and it, it helps me out a little bit in the channel. This is not a sponsored ad. I bought my sous vide stuff. Uh, I'm just uh, here to promote it because I believe it is the right way to cook. It's definitely a lot healthier. So we're going to need some things for our potatoes first. I uh, peeled my potatoes because you don't want to watch me peel potatoes. And we'll take some garlic, and I want two cloves of garlic for this recipe. Two cloves of fresh garlic. I'll take off the bottom before I give them a smash. And I, I, have cooked, I have cooked mashed potatoes before where I boiled the potatoes, and then I chopped up the garlic and threw it in the potatoes and then mashed them all up with some butter and salt and pepper and, and cream. Um, the garlic didn't cook, so it didn't come out very well. Let's break our garlic up. And these are, these are hard neck, hard neck garlic cloves. Two garlic cloves roughly chopped. I also want some fresh thyme. Just got this out of the garden. Peel the leaves off of the stems. Let's prepare our potatoes. And what we want is potatoes that are about an inch thick. There's two ways to prepare these. We can mash them, or after they come out of the sous vide, you can actually crisp them up uh, in a frying pan. Russets or any starchy potato work great. In this case, I am using russets. If you see a couple of brown spots, don't panic. Uh, I did peel these ahead of time for the save time, which is always good. All right, so my potatoes are all cut up. I'm gonna put them in my bag here, my sous vide bag. And we'll prepare everything ahead of time. So now my potatoes are in my sous vide bag. I'm gonna add my garlic 
and the thyme, and probably about a half a teaspoon of pepper. Give that a good shake. And we'll vacuum seal this in a moment. Now onto the squash. So I've peeled my, I've peeled my squash. This is enough for probably three people. Again, we're looking for about one inch pieces. And be very careful with squash. Squash is kind of intimidating because you get that, especially an acorn squash, you've got that outside layer. It's very hard to cut off. Be very careful. And then it's sort of deceiving. You think, wow, this is tough squash, but it really isn't. So we're gonna cut about inch thick pieces. And squash is, uh, it's one of my favorites, especially this time of year. There. All right, squash goes in the uh, bag for sous vide. Again, quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, a couple of pinches of kosher salt, And because I like my squash nice and buttery, I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of butter. Give that a shake and we'll vacuum seal that in a moment. And of course, the final piece will be our asparagus. Asparagus is really easy. It's been sitting in the water for about an hour, so it's fully hydrated. You take your asparagus out. Put it in your sous vide bag and you want the stems right at the bottom. If you want to add some garlic to it, you can. If you want to add some pepper, you can. Even, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Do not add salt though. If you add salt to, um, if you add salt to your asparagus while it's cooking sous vide, it'll turn gray. And I'm only using a teaspoon of butter this time. There, ready to go. Okay, let's vacuum seal these. Okay, so make sure everything is flat, as flat as possible. And then we just vacuum seal it with the vacuum sealer. Okay, <laughs> it's actually quite stiff. There's my asparagus ready to go in the sous vide machine. Let's do our, um, Make sure that everything is flat on our squash. My squash is done. I'm just gonna flatten it out a little bit more. All right, just about got enough water in here. I've got about eight quarts. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And you don't want to fill it, and you don't want to fill your uh, your pot or your sous vide bin or whatever right up to the very top. Remember, we've got to put stuff in there, and we have displacement. I also have a weight, and that's going to keep my vegetables down. Now, we can't just pop the vegetables in there and say go for it. Well, you you can, but what's the point? We have guests coming over, right? We are going to do. Christmas dinner, the turkey's been in the oven for a while, or the ham, or uh, whatever you use. Make sure your thing is secure. We're going to plug it in. One of the beauties I like about this Anova sous vide machine A is it's Wi-Fi. So I'll hook it up to my phone. And what I wanna do is set my temperature to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to start it and now it'll tell me on my phone when the temperature is ready and I can put my potatoes uh, in the timer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my potatoes. They take an hour to cook. 30 minutes later I'm going to add my squash and then 15 minutes after that I'm going to add my asparagus and when the timer goes off after an hour everything will be done perfectly. And I'll show you here. So right now we'll let this come up to temperature before we put the potatoes in. 
Oh, they say patience is a virtue. Anyhow, I'm almost up to temperature. It's about 183. I'm looking for 185. Uh, I do have my device connected to my phone and we are going to put in the potatoes. Now be very careful because this is hot. You may wonder why there's a cutting board underneath here. Well, that's because I don't want 185 degrees sitting on my butcher block. Anyhow, we'll take off the top, let the water run down. And we'll put in our potatoes. And I'm gonna put my weight on those potatoes to keep them in the water. And I'll pick the weight up and uh, readjust as I go. So I put the top back on. That's just to keep the water at the same temperature and evaporation, of course, control the evaporation. Now, I'm just at about temperature. I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes and away we go. So the timer for 30 minutes is going. These potatoes are gonna stay in for an hour. Then I'm gonna put the squash in. Those are gonna go in for 30 minutes. And I'm gonna put the asparagus in. That's gonna go in for 15 minutes. The goal here is to have everything ready when it's time to serve supper. Sound like a plan? All right, I will see you in about 30 minutes. All right, my 30 minutes are just about up. So it's time to put the squash in. And since I don't want my counter to get absolutely wet, we'll put a, tail top, a, a towel down. Remember, it's hot, there's lots of steam coming out. And of course, 185 degrees, your metal or your weight's gonna be the same temperature, which will burn you. So this one we'll just pick up with the tongs, put our squash in. Put the weight back down on it. It's handy dandy. Put the top back on, and in 15 minutes, we will put the asparagus in. All right, now we'll put in our weigh it down, and in 15 minutes' time, we should have all our veggies ready to go for supper. So now we've stopped. So our sous vide has been running. So, like I've said, for an hour, we've been cooking potatoes, squash, and asparagus. We did, of course. So we'll get our asparagus out, which is in a very nice butter sauce. I'll bring that out, bring out one of these plates. And we'll empty our asparagus right on the plate with the butter sauce. Tested, of course. Mm. Mm, that's good. So that's the asparagus. So about 15 minutes. So now we'll get our squash and you see all the water, all the vitamins, all the juices are actually in in the squash, which is good. And remember how I was saying about dry squash? Well, so you can serve your squash like this or you can mash it up and it's not dry. In fact, all that juice is squash juice and water that came out of the squash. So all the vitamins are there. Everything is just packed. And it's flavored. And it's beautiful. So our asparagus, our squash, and last but not least, the potatoes. I think my eyes were bigger than they uh, should be. So these potatoes have been in for an hour. And they should be done and tender. All the vitamins still in them. All the natural juices. Now, I didn't put butter in them. I didn't salt them because we'll do that when we serve them up. Oh, and the garlic. The garlic that was in there as well. Let's put a dab of butter on there. A little salt. Pepper's already in there. And you can serve them like this. Mix them up, 
And there's your potatoes that are done with thyme. And just to, just to show you here. Mm. Oh, so good. Tender. They haven't broken apart like they do when, uh, when they boil and, and things like that. So one hour, we have all the accoutrements we need for a meal. And we have asparagus, squash, and of course, potatoes. Anyway, please enjoy and happy Thanksgiving. For more information on this recipe, head over to my website, www.chefmikemoses.com. You'll find I have a blog there with recipes you can print off and my new podcast with some interesting guests and of course, some, some thoughts from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm here to help you cook better, eat healthier, shop smarter.